Hi Yogi, it's Curly Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a crow challenge flow. So we'll start with a little bit of a warm up, that will be kind of our flow part, then we'll go into the crow challenge. Um, now to do the crow part of the challenge, you'll want to be comfortable with just normal crow pose because we're going to try some fun, funky variations. So you do want to make sure that you are comfortable with getting into crow pose uh, before we start trying these variations. To start though, we will come onto our hands and knees, start warming up our spine. So strong fingertips, strong palms into the earth. Tuck your toes under, you're just gonna inhale here, arch in your spine, and exhale, round it out as you lift your belly in and up, squeezing all the air in and out your nose. Inhale here, exhale. Now starting to activate our Mula Bandha breath as we do this movement. So thinking about breathing to your low belly in a 360 direction, so filling your low belly in all directions as you inhale. As you exhale, really lifting the air in and up, all the way up, all the way along your spine and exhaling through your nose. So this Mula Bandha breath, we wanna keep while we're doing all of our movement. It's a great way to activate our deep core muscles all of our spinal support muscles. We're gonna take this a little bit deeper, so as you inhale, really make sure that you're grounded into the earth, and exhale, lifting your knees off of the mat, just coming to a hover. A couple more here as we start to really lift up with our arms, lifting up with our core. Starting to get into the muscles we'll use for our crow challenge. And last one here, holding it, really pressing away from the earth with your strong palms, lifting in and up through your low belly, and exhale, pressing yourself back to downward facing dog. Start to pedal out your feet, warming up the legs. Now from here, bending your knees and elbows, wave yourself forward, rolling all the way up your spine, tiny bend in your elbows and exhale, press yourself back to down dog. Very nice, now from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows as you lift the right leg to the sky, exhale, lift that knee in and up. Now you're gonna come onto the pinky toe edge of your left foot and step your right foot about halfway up your mat, really grounding into the earth with your feet and your left palm as you Reach the right arm to the sky, starting to stretch your right hip. You can even rotate your palm behind you and wrap your arm around your back if that feels good for you today. And from here, coming back to center, lifting that knee in and up again and stepping the right foot to the right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee and roll yourself in and up to your high lunge. Inhale here, prepare. Just take a moment to settle into the pose. Now you're gonna lift up, extending both legs, and exhale, fist of fire lunge. Get a little bit more warmth and strength in our legs here. Now lean yourself forward, exhale, place your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Now come onto the inner edge, of your left foot, kind of like a warrior position. Right arm extends to the sky. Starting to stretch our inner thigh here. We'll circle down and extend, coming a little deeper into that pose. And the last one here, as you extend, coming to that first edge of stretch of your right leg. Getting a little deeper into that And exhale. Now coming back onto your toes for the left leg, planting your left palm. This time right arm reaches to the sky. We'll do some circling here, get a little bit deeper into our right hip. So exhale, circle down as you inhale, come to the first edge of stretch on the right leg again. Exhale. And last one here, circling down, lifting up. 
Back to center, step yourself back to downward facing dog. Very nice, really the difference you've made on that right side already. Now we'll get into our left leg. So inhale, slight bend in your knees and elbows. Lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring that knee into your core plank. We'll come onto the pinky toe edge of your right foot and step the left foot about halfway up the mat. Really grounding into the earth and left arm extends to the sky. Again, you can rotate your palm behind you, create some space for a shoulder stretch if you want to do a half bind here. Pressing into the earth, feeling stretch in the hips, and then coming back to center, really lifting that knee in and up, stepping the left foot to the left thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Bend your back knee and roll yourself in and up to your high lunge. Now from here, extending, woo, losing my balance already. <laughs> Stand your legs, exhale, fist of fire lunge. Inhale up. Remembering to use that Mula Bandha breath, so breathing, 360 direction to your low belly, and exhale, squeezing the air in and up. Inhale here, now, left arm comes to the inside of the left foot, ground your right foot onto the mat like a warrior, and right arm extends to the sky. We're going to circle that down, warming up our shoulders, getting rid of any shoulder tension. On this last one, as you circle back up, extending your left leg to its first edge of stretch. Now we're still warming up here, so don't have to worry about having a straight leg, just coming right to that edge, warming it up. And exhale back to the mat. Come back onto your toes. Right hand plants firmly underneath your shoulder, and left hand extends to the sky. Exhale, circle down, and coming to that first edge of stretch for the left leg again. Exhale. So stretching more when we add this movement. And last time, we'll hold it here for a moment. And exhale. Back to center, lift that left leg up, step back into your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet here for a moment. Then inhale, bend knees and elbows, exhale, wave yourself forward, this time plant your knees onto the earth, lower through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare long spine, roll yourself in and up, and exhale, back to child's pose. Take a moment, you can rock back and forth, and exhale, come up to sit. So now we've warmed up a little bit, so we're going to take our crow challenges here. So we'll start by coming to stand, coming to a mountain pose, center of the mat, I'm going to face you so you can see what we're doing. So like ground into the earth here with your uh, feet, long spine, inhale, reach up, and exhale, bend your knees deeply, coming into a forward fold. Way the spine long, it's kind of rock back and forth. When you do crow, you really want to think about, of course, grounding into the earth with your hands and really lifting in and up like we were doing with our cat-cow at the beginning. Now from here, bending your knees. So this is a start of our challenge. So you ground into the earth with your left foot. Lift your right knee into your chest. We're going to come into a standing pigeon pose here. So ankle comes over your left leg, right ankle just above the knee, and exhale, see if you can sit back into your chair. So really creating a lot of space for your hips and your sits bones, getting a little stretch in your outer right hip. And then from here, adding some flight challenge. So coming all the way to the earth, firmly planting strong fingertips, strong palms onto the mat or onto the floor. And from here, here's where the fun part comes in. You have to find where you can balance your knees. So left knee to left arm, right knee to right arm, and plant them firmly above the elbows, and then lift 
into this fun, funky crow variation. We're just gonna go through these real quick so you can kind of chip away at them and continue to have fun with them. And then lift yourself back up. Woo, getting wobbly. That's okay, we get back in it. That's what yogis do. <laughs> Inhale, stretch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, prepare long spine and fold over, waving back and forth. And of course we have two sides. So grounding your right foot into the mat, lifting that left knee in and up, coming to your seated position here, taking a moment to feel the stretch, then exhale, firmly planting your fingers and palms in front of you, finding a comfortable position for your knees and leaning your strong heart over, coming into your crow. Coming back onto the mat, again, we'll go through fairly quickly, lifting in and up, and exhale, forward folds. Taking a moment to think about all of the strength you're cultivating between each pose. Now from here, walk your feet together. We're gonna to come onto our toes and sit down onto our heels. So we'll do a bit of a side crow variation. So from here, you're gonna to twist over to the right. So walk your fingertips over to the right, long spine. It's kind of a good way to get into a prep for this. Now you do wanna make sure that you keep your knees together. You don't wanna have them wildly apart. <laughs> so Strong core, keeping your knees together. Now with this one, you can try the balance just by locking your uh, right knee into your left arm, or you can also lock your hip onto your right elbow. So whatever's more comfortable, I'll show you both ways. So from here, you do wanna make sure that you rest your knee above your elbow on the left arm. That's where most of the strength is gonna come from. And then you can also Ground your back hip onto the right elbow. Lean yourself over, coming into a side crow. And I'll try it on the other side and I'll show you the other variation. So again, starting on your toes, kind of sitting on your heels. Knees are firmly planted together. Twist, walk yourself over to the left. Firmly plant your hands and again, you can use your back hip for stability or really grounding just into the right arm and balancing on just using one arm. So chip away at that, have fun. Always a fun challenge. And then from here, come back into your forward fold, wave again, kind of walk out the feet. Inhale here, ground into the earth. Lift yourself in and up to mountain. Stretch, exhale, hands come to heart center. Take a moment to stretch out your wrists. Do a little magic wrist clear. So you can take your uh, opposite hand, massage your forearm, and then get some traction from the wrist. That'll help open up any compression that we might develop from, of course, practicing crow and some of our other yoga poses. And I'll do one last Crow challenge here, combining those two moves. So inhale, we ground into the earth, lift your right leg, place it on your left, just above your left knee again. And then from here, we're gonna come back to that kind of seated position. So onto your toes and balancing. Now, this is already a challenge, of course. <laughs> and then from here, walking yourself uh, back to the left. This time I do recommend using your back hip as extra support, otherwise it can get wobbly and it's much more comfortable for me. At least you can try it with just the arm, but I like to use my black leg for support. Now you're grounding your right arm into your right foot as well. So you're gonna kind of stand on your arm and use your back hip as a little extra support as you lift your left leg off the mat. And then come back to center, back to your forward fold, Now one last side for our challenge. So ground into the earth, lifting in and up, left leg lifts, places over the right, and then coming to our 
toe seated position. So already challenging our balance and our flexibility and strength. Twist yourself over to the right, firmly planting your hands. And you can start by lifting up and really think about creating a lock between the bottom of your left foot and your left arm. And then grounding your back hip onto your right elbow, creating that stable table so that you can lift the right foot off of the mat. Very nice, exhale. Back to center, back to your forward fold. Inhale, wave the spine long. Wave back and forth. You can even bend the right knee straighter. Plant your right palm firmly. Left arm reaches to the sky. Stretching out the hips that we just worked so much. You can even rotate your palm again and open up your shoulder. Exhale, switch sides. I always like doing the half bind here. We'll combo stretch. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows, roll yourself in and up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, now from here, find your way back onto the mat, coming into our final resting position. You can hug your knees into your chest. Circle them one way, circle on the other. Windshield, wipe your legs. One of my favorite ways to cool down after a yoga class. And of course, take a moment to take any other stretches you need. And then reach your legs out long into Shavasana. And before you totally settle into the mat, do that magic wrist clear again. Massage out your forearms, and when you're uh, circling your wrist, try and pull your wrist away from your arm a little bit. You do want to resist your arm down so you're not just, <laughs> just moving your hand. That'll create some traction, open up any tension and compression in your wrists. It's great to do also if you're sitting at a desk typing a lot. So, and then from here, settle into the mat. Think about how awesome it is that you tried that crow challenge. Crow in and of itself is not an easy pose. And then once you start adding variations and other crazy combinations with your legs, it adds to the challenge, but it also adds to the fun. So keep chipping away at it, keep having fun with it. And hopefully I'll see you on the mat again here soon. So make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. You'll get notifications when the new videos go up and I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerd Yogi's email list. So. Find out there below. Namaste.